with her duties as mayor, but some of her opponents say that's no excuse not to join them in a debate. And tonight, a few of those candidates were protesting the mayor's absence at a forum held at the USD campus. One candidate for mayor was arrested. News 8's Ronnie Lawiza was there and joins us now from the newsroom with the story. Ronnie? Well, how the mayor was invited to speak tonight by the Claremont Town Council and the Linda Vista Civic Association. One man running for her office ended up running into trouble with the law. Take please? your hand off me. Sir. Don't touch me. Let's go. This is no protester. This is a man campaigning to be the next mayor of San Diego. Lock David Crane was carrying a sign downgrading current Mayor Golding prior to a town hall forum where she was scheduled to speak. We have a university to protect. We have classes at night here. One demonstrator could easily be 15, 20, 30. The university does not allow anyone to demonstrate or picket. The sign he has would be hardly be considered a picket sign, and he is a candidate for mayor, and I think he deserves the respect of, you know, to have whatever props he wants to have. Jim Bell and Pat Coleman were standing outside at the time. They, along with Crane, are among five candidates running against the incumbent. They were to confront her. Why won't she participate in the democratic process? Why won't she debate? her challengers. These candidates say they've asked her to debate them. I sent a letter to her and to her campaign manager and didn't get any response. And it's come to this. Don't squeeze those cups. Well, then don't try to get away again. There just haven't been any invitations for other debates. This is what Crane had to say before his arrest. When Navarro and Golding and I were duking it out four years ago, there were 25 different forums. But Golding begs to differ. There's only been one. and. Uh, that was over a month ago, and I already was committed for that evening. You've only had one debate. Yeah, that's because she's refused to go to any of them. So people have, have given up. But indeed, there are many local forums that would love to have her. Finally, the question over the debate comes up in the forum. There will be a, um, a forum on KPPS that I have agreed to participate in uh, next week. And one thing I have learned is, is voters pay attention increasingly the closer it comes to the election. All the candidates will be invited to that radio debate. Meantime, a few have already begun to speak their mind. Please vote March 26th. I probably won't be here, but some of Lock David Crane was taken into custody for trespassing. USD is private property. As for the KPBS debate, that is scheduled on Thursday, March 21st at 9 o'clock in the morning. It will be a one-hour debate, and all the candidates have been invited. All right, thank you.